The GrantShares DAO, or Decentralized Automated Organization, is an application that allows individuals or groups to request grants or funding for their various community growth projects, decentralized applications and integrations, and developer tooling. GrantShares was the first DAO released on NEO3, and its smart contracts are developed and maintained by Axe Labs. The reason behind founding GrantShares is to provide financial support to smaller initiatives that don't currently fit the scope of NEO's existing grant programs. Right now, the initial funding limit is $50,000 US per proposal. If there is a project seeking a larger amount, they can apply for grants through NEO's eco support tracks. And the great thing about being a DAO is that everything here happens on chain in a decentralized manner. Now let's go over the proposal process if you wanted to submit a proposal for funding on grant shares. The first step is to create and discuss your proposal. Basically think of what idea you want to do. Once you have it, you can create a proposal on the grant shares D app. You can give it a title, a description of what your proposal is, as well as your intent, such as, I need to fundraise 100 NEO. Once you create that, the D app creates a GitHub issue on the grant shares repository, and that's where all the discussion about your proposal can take place. The next step is to push it on chain. You know you're ready to push it on chain when you are confident that the grant shares members will support your proposal, and then you can push it on chain through the D app. When it is created, it is created on the grant shares contract while it waits for a member to endorse it. Once on chain, it is up to the members to vote on a proposal. And once that proposal is endorsed, it's open for voting for any of the members. Once the voting phase is over and the proposal is accepted, it gets queued for a short period of time, or in other words, a time lock before the proposal can be successfully executed and funded. As for the voting members, you will be able to submit a proposal to join the voting members team for grant shares. For right now, the voting member groups are City of Zion, Axe Labs, Red for Sec, Neo Global Development Enterprise, Neo Research, Next, Neo SPCC, Neo Foundation, Neo Global Development, and Neo News Today. And finally, it's time to execute your proposal. An accepted proposal can now be executed by anyone once it has been voted on. This now leads the actions mentioned in the proposal, for example, the full release of the grant money. Now, when you're picking your funding category, there are basically three sets of categories you can ask funding for. It's important to note that it's not just technical things. It can be a meetup or starting up a YouTube channel where you could use funding to grow the NEO ecosystem, such as this one. Not that I've used grant shares, but I could use your subscription and like below. Let's go over these categories. The first you have community growth. These can be things like meetups, workshops, hackathons, branding related to NEO, UX or UI design, or marketing. There is also the decentralized application and integrations, which could be related to DAOs, DeFi, games, wallets, or anything else that has to do with a decentralized application. Finally, you have developer tooling. This is stuff catered towards developers and coders, such as SDKs, IDE plugins for things like Visual Studio Code, editor extensions, or even contract libraries and templates. Now to go over the question that I'm sure many of you had, including myself, where exactly does the funding come from? Well, to start with, the initial grant shares funding program was funded by the NEO Foundation as a partner, and it was the first funding organization. But what happens if that money runs out or if anyone else wants to fund the grant shares proposals? Well, you can't just go ahead and send tokens to the grant shares treasury, but what you can do is apply to be a funder, and if you as an individual or organization does that, you can then fund future grant shares proposals and help grow the NEO3 ecosystem. In terms of actual smart contract security, it's important to note that the smart contracts for grant shares have been audited by Red Forsec and you can access that security report on the GrantShares website at grantshares.io. 
It's in the part where they say the frequently asked questions. In addition, these smart contracts have been extensively tested and developed by experienced software engineers who have been involved in the NEO ecosystem for four plus years. But of course, it's important to note there is never 100% guarantee that smart contracts are risk-free. Just take note of that. Next, we're gonna take a brief overview of what the DApp looks like. So here we are in the Grant Shares proposal portal. As you can see, there are some filters and some proposals already here. You can filter by the type of proposal. You can also filter by the current state of a proposal as well as sort them. For example, let's take a look at the Africa Neo3 Lifesavers event proposal. As you can see, it has already gone through all six steps of discussion, moved to the on-chain, to the voting stage, time locked, accepted, and then executed. As you can see, very well detailed information and description um, for this Africa Neo3 event happening at the University of Lagos. Of course, the more detailed you can be in your description, the higher chance of a proposal success. As you can see, their budget plan requires about 730 NEO or around 5,000 US dollars. As we remember, it's about $50,000 as the maximum limit. And there's some useful uh, links on the right here, such as the proposal discussion that we mentioned on GitHub, the current voting status, and you can drop down and see the exact wallets and who said yes and who said no. And of course, the information on who is proposing this and more information such as the voting and who endorsed this proposal. And at the top here, you can connect your wallet and also connect your GitHub page in order to submit a proposal. Of course, you can go ahead and create a proposal where you can request what type of proposal you need, the title of your proposal, and all the details that you are required to fill out. As you can see, there is already a structure that you want to follow for the best possible chance of proposal success. You can also potentially link a related proposal if there are multiple proposals for the same sort of event. You can also request what token you want to receive your funding in. In the future, more tokens can definitely be added. And that's the proposal page. Next, we can go to the treasury page. This is the treasury page where you can see the current amount of funds in the grant shares treasury. You can also see the amount of grants that have already been allocated as well as the transactions where they have been spent. This is the benefit of a decentralized organization where you can see everything on chain and see where the money goes and how it is spent. And that's the beauty of crypto. There is also a member page link where you can see the current voting members, as I mentioned earlier, as well as the endorsements they have done and the number of votes that they have casted. Lastly, they have the parameters page where you can see the current values of parameters on these grant share contracts. That includes the current token funding limits. But if you wanna go more into this, you can head to grantshares.io slash app slash parameters. That's gonna do it for this brief overview of the Grant Shares DAO. If you're interested in checking it out, I will leave a link in the description to the app. Also, I would love to hear back from you all what you think of this Grant Shares DAO and how it can benefit the Neo3 ecosystem. I think it's a pretty cool idea and decentralized funding, in my opinion, is definitely the future. As a reminder, if you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you can be notified for any future videos. If you know anyone that would be interested in learning about the Grant Shares DAO, make sure to share this video with them so they can be more involved in the Neo3 ecosystem. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.